for this tutorial, I will be using a fingering weight yarn, cotton aid from Scrapius. We also need a 3mm hook, tapestry needle, and this keychain ring that I got from my local craft store. So, start with a slip knot and chain 7. And now you're going to chain additional two. And from the hook, count four chains. Three, four. And do one double crochet in the fourth chain. And continue adding one double crochet in every chain until the end of the row. Now turn your work, oh, chain 3, and we're going to skip the first 3 stitches, 1, 2, 3, and in the 4th stitch, we're going to add 1 V-puff stitch. So to do that, yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch, yarn over, and pull up about 1 centimeter loop and hold that in place with your finger so and then you're gonna repeat that four more times in that very same stitch so one hold that in place two hold that in place three and four and now we're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops in your hook. And then chain one so that we can close this stitch. And that is your first puff. And now we do the second puff by chaining one. And repeat exactly the same procedure in that very same stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over and pull up about one centimeter loop and repeat that four more times. Two, hold that in place. Three and four. Okay. And after that, you're going to yarn over, pull through all of the loops in your hook and chain one to close that stitch. So, and that is our V-puff stitch. Okay? And now we're going to chain one. And we're going to skip one, two double crochets. And add one double crochet in the top chain, the very top chain of our turning chains. Like so. And that is how it's going to look like throughout the pattern. So to start this row, chain 3, and then we're going to work another V-puff stitch in this center chain space here. So grab the yarn, pull up a loop, and repeat that four more times, just like what we did in the previous row. Chain 1 to close the stitch. So that is our first puff. And now we chain 1. And then do the second puff in the same chain 1 space. Yarn over and pull through all of the loops in the hook. Chain 1. 
and you just did your second peep up stitch so let's continue chain one um, and then we're gonna have to skip two chains from here so if you crochet a little bit too tight you will have a difficulty in inserting your hook in this part so don't crochet too tight okay so now we add one double crochet in the top chain of our turning chains and basically this is how this is how your pattern is gonna look like and it's totally up to you how long you want your keychain you're just gonna have to repeat this row as many times as you want so I will show you that again one more time chain 3 and do one v-pop stitch in the center chain space of your v-pop stitch like so So you're going to have to keep on repeating that pattern again as many times as you want depending on how you want the length of your keychain to be. And with mine I did 7 rows of v-puff stitches. So pause the video and I will meet you later for the last part. So I've done about 10 rows of v-puff stitches. Let's proceed by chaining 2. And do one double crochet in the next chain one space right here and do another double crochet on the top chain of our puff stitch not this chain but the next one this one after that you're gonna drop the yarn remove your hook and insert your key ring in that loop like so pull that through pick up your hook and now let's proceed again chain one skip the one chain space and do a double crochet on the top chain of our puff stitch same as what you did previously like so and do another double crochet in the next chain And another double crochet in the top chain of our turning chains. Fasten off and with a tapestry needle weave in towards the center of your work all of your excess yarns. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.